We're going live. We're going live. We're going live. We're going to do this live. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, uh, <laughs> oh, no, it's, it's my throat, throat up. Okay. So, this is the latest, um, um, you know, arrival. And I just, yeah. This is cool. Let's bought off Marketplace from V. And, um, and so we d discussed it. I was like, you know, I just wanted one part of the comics, but was, she was a like, sale. But she said, well, yeah, you pay that um, the full amount and you get the others for free. <laughs> it was fun. Anyway, so I was just, it was, my, it was, this was a really cool thing. And I asked her to specifically to send it in a bot, um, and cartons wrap, like I said to you guys last time. And this is the way I'm going to do these videos. I mean, you know, comics arrivals from now on it's like live like this unwrappings i wanted to be a bit careful this time opening it so all right here we go so this is a whole bunch of like joker and and before before i think hey man look at this ah oh, all right just check it out so right i think this is like the the i'm not sure but this might be the comic box things that they've sent out um yep oh this is a, yeah this is like what My mighty ape sends out this stuff and it's like yeah package uh so anyway so these are the comics that we um i got all right okay you see them let me just get them closer all right so this is joker number one i don't know why this thing's uh, this keeps trying to tell me that um it's trying to flip over so this is joker number one the Joker one by Tinian. Tinian's, I reckon, is a good writer. I, I, I've enjoyed his writing in the past. I haven't read any new ones. As you know, I don't buy new comics as a series, um, like from one, two, three, and read them because I just, yeah, it's not my. I just find, like I said, I don't, not, the new comics don't interest me that much. I still find I had to read them uh, because it's just, yeah, they're not what they used to be like. So anyway. So, awesome cover. This is, is this a, yeah, this is a black, DC black label. What normal comics used to be like. Black labels, what normal comics used to be like from DC, right? So, that's a cool cover. Uh, is that Harley? I don't know. Uh, was it Punchline? I don't know. Like I said, I haven't read these comics. Yeah. And so, there's this one here, uh, The Joker 3. Uh, and on the, the back of it is this, yeah. Awesome covers. That's what that's what got me this. Um, got me into this. So like it was just the covers were cool, and you know what? Um, like I said, I buy covers now. I don't uh, variant covers. I don't really care much for the what's inside the comics or what the comics are about, because at the moment, I couldn't care less about what mainstream comics do, apart from the fact that it just annoys me. Uh, check out the cover on this. I think I just missed the cover on that one. Right. Check out this. I think supposedly this is supposed to be punchline. Is she Joker's daughter? I don't know. But yeah, so this is number. Okay, I should have read the numbers, right? So uh, Joker number two. Joker number three. There's a card, which is cool. I like the artwork. Like I said, I'm here for the artwork on the cover. Uh, this is Joker number four. Yeah, awesome artwork, and you know these are like costly comics, man. I mean, I'll I'll, I'll read the prices for those for these soon, right? You'll be surprised at the cost of these comics. These used to, basically these are comics that used to be three two ninety nine and three ninety nine. The value of these comics and what they sh you know what they used to be like, right? Back in the day, this is what comic DC Black label is what normal DC comics used to be like, right? Before 2010 or something like that. They just lost their brain. Anyway, so number four, number five, number, what, I think that might be it on that lot. Okay, so five of them. I'm not even sure if there's six in that series. It doesn't bother me. If there is, then I'll get it. Uh, like I said, I just got these because I like the covers. They were cool. All right, so... Harley Quinn, number one, again, DC Black label, all right? What normal comics used to be like. Now they give you shitty comics at 399 and then charge you $2 extra 
a dollar extra for the next lot. All right. Oops, sorry, my bad. So number one, number two, um, and this is let me see. This this is by Phillips and Rosmo is an artist on um, artist on that. Um, so one and two, pretty cool, pretty cool. Uh, three and four, here comes three and four. Uh, another cool artwork. Um, I'm not sure who's the artist on this, but yeah. So you get the value for the artwork for the, on the cover, sorry, for the, from this comics. You know, at the end of the day, I really, like I said, I couldn't care less what the story is about because I'm just there for the cover art, right? So it's three and three and four with these comics these days, right? So here we go. So the Catwoman on the cover there. This one's with Phillips and Braga, so they had a change of artists, right? Um, and so that's six. Did I miss five? Oh, there's five. Yeah, so Rosmo finishes off at five as the artist, and Phillips continues with his line, and Braga comes in to do the artwork from number six onwards, which is kind of strange. Usually you, you do your six-issue story and you go on, right? Um, as I worked out when I was doing film, um, film script writing that, and then turned into comics, it was like 120 pages works out to be about an hour and a half. No, sorry, 130 pages to be an hour and a half of a movie, right? minute per page so basically six issues is a movie so if you're gonna um you know if you're gonna put out a comic book you're gonna be able to have to make up at least 15 minutes of comic book to make it six issues so this is number i think it was six eight yeah so seven uh and eight looks like the cover art artist is the same one right that so there we go it's just one two eight of the harlequin series um the artwork is this chew i don't know it's a variant cover um i think this is normal covers the rest are normal covers but the first one's variant cover it's cool artwork what was it darrow i can't even remember i mean i know who that is uh where is that name there you guys probably know since if you're if you're a reader of dc comics you know who those guys are i have no clue so yeah so variant covers and um you know one two uh five for for um joker so here's the prices right so here, here's guys all right so number uh where are we number f let's start with the first one, yeah let's start with the first one. that's the way it worked so 499 so okay so 499 for number one okay cool okay so now you're gonna Go to 599 for number two. This is DC, dude. This is this is modern day DC, right? Is it because it's a variant cover? I mean, does it, you know, because you're putting out the comics. So do you price it up because you got a different cover on it for a whole dollar, right? So that's number two. And... Number three is five nine nine. Number two is five nine nine. Right. Uh, number four is five nine nine. Right. And number five is five nine nine. So you hook the person. So you hook your viewer, uh, your reader in on a Joker book with four nine nine, and then straight afterward, you raise it to five nine nine. For the next five books or whatever how many books there are now i remember that in the back of the day it used to be like dollar 99 as a starter and that'll get you into comic into reading comic book right uh into, into a new series to go on to but this is a um is, is a weird thing to do with current dc um comics because you can't up the price by a whole dollar because i remember it kind of went from like two dollars to two dollars fifty would be the next one and it, and they'll tell you why they're doing it. we just want to have lots more people read it all right there's no sense in com, um, current day dc to do this because you know they are the big two i mean they're part of the big two right so J a joker movie came out and i guess it was you know it did a, got everybody interested so because it got everybody interested 
uh, you know, they put out the joke of titles, all right, great at and stuff. Okay, so on that note, so I'm just going to finish off here, right? So on that note, um, they're going to kill in the comics. Uh, I've been, um, I saw something on, online on, on YouTube that they're going to kill Doctor Strange in the comics months before Doctor Strange movie comes out. All right, so the movie comes out. People go, kids, whoever goes to see the movie, and then they go to see the movie, and they uh, and they show up to the comic shop afterwards looking for Doctor Strange books. Sorry, Doctor Strange is dead. Now his wife is the uh, is the yeah Wizard Supreme, right? Sorcerer Supreme. Um, and now you've basically destroyed anybody who was going to get interested into the Doctor Strange. Because they go, well, that's not what I came in here for. I came in here for Doctor Strange, All right? I didn't come up here for Doctor Mrs. Strange, Doctor Mrs. Strange, whatever, Doctor Strange, right? Whatever. Is that they just call the doctor? My doc I call my doctor my doctor. She's I always have female doctors, All right? Or main ones, you know. Sub ones always, yeah. You know, Subjects you ones always are males or females. It doesn't matter. But my main doctors have always been females. So the deal is. Now, this is what they did with the Iron Man comics. They did the Iron Man comics, and so when you went, when you got excited about the Iron Man, they had Riri Williams, right, in the, as the main character in the Iron Man comic books. So when, you go, when you're a kid, you, hey, I want to go see Tony, Tony Stark, and you see Riri Williams, you go, uh, hey, yeah, yeah, I don't, no, I'm not interested, I'm just going to go. These guys don't know how to do business anymore. So Marvel, when it come, when when they kill off Doctor Strange before the friggin' movie comes out, is the worst, stupidest thing they can think of doing as a business. I wouldn't do that. I'm a businessman. I don't, you know, that's bad business. You'd want to put out as many. Uh, you want to keep him alive until, for at least another six months, and then when the kids are all coming in, you know, young readers, kids, adults, whatever, young readers watch that movie and they go hit the bookstore and they go. Uh, you know, comic books or whatever, Barnes and Nobles, wherever, you know, wherever, what calls here, Pepper Plus, right? So they go see Doctor Strange um, or the comic book shop, right? They see Doctor Strange, right? The Source of Supreme. They don't see his wife, whatever. But in six months, you can get them to watch it, read the books, and then you can introduce him being dying. But the, he's not going to die, right? He's going to be back in six months like every friggin' other thing. It's just another death is just another like publicity stunt selling point lost leader uh you know they're going to do the superman they're going to do the, the justice league you know the the trio trinity you know kill them off whatever but it's the same deal right so if you're going to do that you are a bad business person and far as i can see both marvel and dc are bad for business right now they don't know how to run the ship and like with ourselves, when we were planning stuff last year, I made a mistake with my comic because I did an online comic and I printed it, and I and then I stepped back after all the all the thing was over and I said, this this works as an online comic, but it does not work as a print comic with quality artwork. My artwork's okay, it's not quality, but yeah. All right, so I'm gonna leave it at that, guys. Uh, but yeah, be on the lookout for the comics uh, in Critical. Templeton, Torn, uh, Red Dot, um, The Offensive, which is a one-shot. So is Templeton, Torn, one-shot, around about 60, 50 to 60 pages each. Uh, we're going to do a smaller versions of the floppies, about 20, 22 pages each. Also, uh, we've got um, a Dirt coming out, which is a story, a crime drama, a thriller, uh, slice-of-life story based in Fiji. Uh, where I was born, but I'm, I'm a Kiwi. I've been here since I was seven years old in New Zealand, right? Uh, so the other book that we're working on is called Alien Alliance and all of these books are by different artists, five different artists, if I remember right, working on five different books from Plant Studios here in New Zealand uh, and published through overseas through Rise and Sun Comics and yeah, so that's all I've got to say, just, uh, you know, and just, you know, I'm just grateful for the community that's growing here in Whangarei, really around what we do in comics and stuff. But also for New Zealand, it's like if you guys who are watching this from overseas, uh, you know, uh, we we love comics. We love a um, classic style. Of, I mean, I personally love the classic style of comics. Uh, my favorites are Alan Moore, uh, 
um, Garth Ennis, uh, sort of maybe Grant, Grant Morrison, Warren Ellis, definitely, you know, old school writers, their quality, their books. As a writer, I look to them for their writing. I don't look for them to the artwork, but I do love good artwork. Like I said, like all these books here. I'm finishing, I'll just say, I, I bought these for the covers. But like Joker, these, um, um, like I said, Black Label, is basically what the comics, normal comics, used to be like printed and back in the two, uh, before 2000. Now you got to pay extra for it. Okay. Kakite uh, Ano is malfunction with the narrative. We'll see you next time. Hey, Carl. Awesome, bro. Cheers for um, hanging out. And thank you, everybody. Um, yeah. Who's, who checks, um, check out um, Comic Trade on, uh, on, <laughs> on Facebook and plunge convention on Facebook as well and see you next time hey guys malfunction here from the narrative thank you for checking out my channel um, like subscribe do all the good things share and um, join us here every well for future videos and commentaries rants or rants and opinion pieces um, I have a lot um, I conduct a few um, Discussions, interviews with creatives in pop culture, uh, fans of pop culture, fans of comics, manga, anime, creators, artists, writers from all over the world as well as here in New Zealand.